Hello friends, myself Dr. Saumya and you're welcome to our channel Doctor on Life. In this video, we're going to have a brief discussion about anemia. We will be looking through the types, causes, symptoms and also how to identify anemia in a person. So first, let us get to know what exactly is anemia. The anemia is medically termed as the reduction of total amount of hemoglobin in the blood. And the word anemia was taken from the Greek language, which means lack of blood. Globally, anemia is one of the most common forms of blood disorders, which is found to affect about one third of the world population. And hence, April 7th every year is dedicated as the World Anemia Day, during which a lot of campaigns and awareness programs are raised to create awareness among the public to prevent and manage anemia effectively. If you like this video, do continue watching to get to know more about anemia. So here we are going to see the different types of anemia. Anemia is broadly classified into few types. The first one is the iron deficiency anemia. This of course is the most common form of anemia which is broadly seen in the majority of people. It is caused due to the deficiency of iron which affects the hemoglobin production. The second type of anemia is the pernicious anemia. This is a type of anemia which arises due to the deficiency of vitamin B12 and folate. Another type of anemia is the aplastic anemia. This is a disease condition of the body in which the body fails to produce blood cells in enough numbers. The fourth type of anemia is the sickled cell anemia. This is an inherited blood disorder. And this is a condition in which there is lack of healthy red blood cells to carry enough oxygen throughout the body. The next type of anemia is called the thalassemia. This too is an inherited blood disorder. And this disorder causes the body to have less hemoglobin than what is required. Now coming to the sixth type, we have hemolytic anemia. This is a condition in which the RBCs, that is the red blood cells, are destroyed at a very faster rate than which they can be made. So coming to the next, we are going to discuss about the causes of anemia. Or in other words, what are the conditions that can lead to anemia? Anemia can be caused due to physiological changes in the body or due to pathological causes. The physiological changes can include malnutrition in children, females of childbearing age, heavy menstrual cycles, and even in pregnancy. And pathologically, anemia can be seen in people suffering from colon polyps, various types of cancer, and in people who have the deficiency of iron folic acid or vitamin B12. As we have seen earlier, anemia can also be inherited and be seen running in the families. I hope you have been watching till now. So let us continue discussing on the most common type of anemia that is the iron deficiency anemia. We all know that it is hemoglobin which gives the red color to the blood. The iron deficiency anemia is a condition in which the body does not have enough iron to make hemoglobin. This is of course the most common type of anemia which is seen globally and is also a type of anemia which can be easily managed 
by following a healthy lifestyle and good dietary habits. Now, these are the signs of anemia which you should look for to rule out anemia at an early stage and hence take measures to control the same. Anemia can make the body feel weak and lethargic. A person can present with shortness of breath and poor concentration. In some cases, anemia also presents with dizziness, headache and cold extremities. Some patients also complain about increased in thirst and a state of confusion. And in severe cases, anemia can also cause loss of consciousness. And when you meet a physician, it is a physician who confirms anemia with physical presentations. Have you ever wondered why does a physician ask you to put your tongue out or looks into your eyes? Yes, this is the time he examines for the signs of anemia. By looking at the paleness of skin, tongue, nail beds and conjunctiva. So, if ever you identify any of these symptoms, it is always good to make an appointment with a family doctor or a physician. Severe anemic patients may also present with palpitations and tachycardia on examination. Very often, to confirm the type of anemia, a physician may also advise you for some blood test, which includes HP count, RBC count, serum ferritin, serum iron, mean corpuscular volume, and also total iron binding capacity. Normal hemoglobin count in females is said to be around 12 to 14 deciliter. And that in males is said to be around 13 to 15 deciliter. Though it keeps changing with age, lifestyle and genetic factors. And here, if you love this video or if you have any doubts and queries, be free to share with us in the comment section. So now, let us move ahead and get to know how is anemia treated and managed. Ruling out the cause and type of anemia is a primary step taken. Based on that, dietary managements are advised in case of dietary deficiency anemia. Oral iron supplements or intravenous iron are also advised. In severe and emergency cases, blood transfusion is also done. And here are a few tips that will help you to manage iron deficiency anemia. We all know iron is a mineral obtained from the food we eat. And so, making favorable changes in your diet can help you in the management of iron deficiency anemia. In the nature, iron is found in two forms, heme iron and non-heme iron. Heme iron can be easily obtained from animal sources like liver, seafood, meat and poultry. And the non-heme iron is found in vegetable sources like the green leafy vegetables, carrots and beetroots. Dry fruits like apricots, dates, almonds and raisins are also good sources of non-heme iron. There are a lot of studies which states that vitamin C helps in the absorption of iron. So it's always good to include the food which are rich in vitamin C in the management of anemia. Another interesting factor you would like to know is that the daily dietary requirement of iron in females is higher than that in males. And since a certain amount of iron is lost during daily activities through sweat and stomach, it is always advised to include iron in your daily diet. I hope that this video is going to help you to identify the signs of anemia and tell you when to seek medical help. Since anemia can be temporary and long term and it can range from mild to severe, Make appointment with your physician if you suspect any of the signs of anemia as it can also be a warning sign of any serious disease. I hope that this video was informative and helpful for you. And 
If you like this video, do share it with your family and friends. And let us know on what topics you would love to listen from us. And stay tuned for more interesting and health related contents. Thank you for being with us. And this is Dr. Saumya taking leave from you.